Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Noob 2 Pro Serious. And today, we're showing the best looking graphics and the best performance, actually. So, what is the, what is the point of this video is to show people how to make your game look good without actually super lagging it. But you still need a pretty decent PC, though. But I got a pretty bad PC on, on here, and it does not run the game really smoothly. I mean, I get 30 frames per second, but that's not good enough for me. But these are the best settings that I use all the time, and I think they're the best. So here, let's go in the game. So graphics, what do you want to do? Is, as you can see, fit FXAA. And as you can see, these settings, you just turn them off because they blur out the stuff uh, in the in the far distances and you can't actually see the players better so that's a pretty bad thing for me and it actually makes the sky a little bit darker and as you can see the sun shafts are actually a little bit better without it so motion blur why the hell you would need that thing I don't know <laughs> just turn it off for your you're gonna play better without it so the next thing is SSAO and this thing it just lags out the game you don't want that sun shots to make your game beautiful turn turn them on because they don't drop frames so much at all and the next thing is bloom just use it because as you can see the sky changes a bit and I don't get any frames uh, I don't get lower frames so that's really good Clouds, of course you want them, and they don't drop your frames at all for me. Uh, the next thing is terrain. And as you can see, terrain changes uh, the land that you cannot see. You cannot go there, actually, in that place. And if you turn it off, I don't know. I like to turn it off. It just gives a little bit uh, of TPS boost. And it actually, I like it way better without turning it off. Because... The only thing that you can see there is just land that it's empty. So why would you need to see that? I don't know. So I just like it turning off. The draw distance definitely go for maximum. As you can see. It changes even... If I, I, if I go to the lowest one. Even it changes the scopes on my gun and stuff like that. So definitely go for 200%. Now, effect quality. Don't go for high. I don't know why would you want to go for high. Actually, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I tried high and it doesn't change the game at all for me. <laughs> I don't know. Let's let's see if it changes anything. I don't know. It doesn't change anything and it gives a little bit of a VPS for you. Now, foliage. As you can see on low, I get 30, per, uh, 30 frames per second. And on high... I get about 30. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't change the game super much. So I think you should leave them on. Because it looks awesome. With the foliage. Now the next thing is lighting. Now lighting changes. As you can see. When I'm on low lighting. Like let, let me just go for. There you go. Uh, as you can see. There's shadows right. And if I go for lighting low I can't see the shadows and the shadows is actually pretty pretty good to see because if the guy on the corner like if it's in the in the city let, let's uh, let's show you that like here we go can you see my shadows there we go this is my shadow you could actually see the guy if it was on this corner like you can't see if you were here for, probably like here and if I would be here, you could actually see the shadows on that character. And it would know that this guy th that this guy is here. So that's very useful. So you should definitely leave them on. But don't go for high. I don't know why. Just go for low. You don't need... I mean, it looks better. But you don't need to drop your frames super much, you know. Uh, yeah, so next thing. Water quality. Well, for the water, it's only your choice, but I like it to put it on high. I don't know. It looks the best, and I mean, it does drop your frames a little bit, 
yeah, not a little bit, a lot. So, it's it's your personal choice. But actually, when you have the eye uh, on the water quality, I think in, you can see through the water. That is very useful. So I think it should lead them eye still. And the scope resolution. Now lo let's see what it does here. Scope re resolution. I have no idea. What the hell? Now, if you have your scope resolution to maximum, it is bug. It's gonna bug out. I don't know. <laughs> well, that is a weird bug. All right. So we should leave them low then. <laughs> Just leave them low. And it actually, it love. It makes your scope pixelated. That's not a good thing. Okay, it's a bug. All right. I think it's a bug. So just leave them low. I don't know. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and it will I hope you will have the best looking game and still have the performance on the top quality, you know. So that's what I use. I I really have a bad PC as you can see. I I used to get like 20 frames per second in this video, but when I use the highest settings, like some people go for highest and they don't they have the same uh, still the same feeling, you know, in the game. They still have the same feeling like look at this. We go for highest and what changes? You have the shitty blur and you have no frames per second like it lags out and you have still the same quality of the game. So why would you need to do that? Why? Just change up as I said in the video. So yeah, Check out my Twitter, my Facebook, and go join the Tommy Screw. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe for more content. And have a nice day.